Hello everyone, so you're here I guess because uh, you recently have uh, the fiber to the home connected to your house and you're as well in love with PFSense. So you want to bypass the uh, internet uh, home hub 3000 bell modem because well, it consumes some power and you just don't like it. So it's easy to do with PFSense, there's a few configuration you have to do first. Uh, Bell has a certain way to pass the internet through that uh, optical fiber. Uh, they use VLANs and VLANs uh, basically it's a pipe in a pipe. So uh, you have to go to VLAN and create those VLANs 35, 34 and 36. They correspond to the internet voice over IP and IPTV services by Bell. Uh, not all of them are essential if you just want to create the 35 that's fine so you click add and that brings you there you just uh, select the uh, the WAN uh, physical interface you're gonna use uh, VLAN 35 internet for reference and you're good to go once that VLAN is created if you go back to interface assignment, instead of having only a physical interface, you will be able to select the VLAN pipe in a pipe uh, on which the, the WAN is going to connect to. So you will click on this one and you will click save. The page will reload and then you will go to the WAN setting by clicking here. Um, <coughs> when you go here, you have to change that to PPPoE because that's what Bell used to connect to the internet. The MTU settings has to be set to 1492. It's like uh, 1500 uh, uh, minus eight uh, bytes, which is the length of the V tag. So something like that. And you type your uh, username and uh, password for your Bell PPPoE. I had mine provided by uh, the technician that came uh, do the setup at home. But uh, I've been told you can uh, reset it or change it uh, on your uh, uh, Bell uh, portal uh, customer service thing. So then, uh, what else do you need? You will need, if you don't have it, uh, if your router if your router has a SFP port on it, uh, like some tends to have uh, nowadays, you can just pop the SFP, a GPON SFP transducer right in your box. If you don't have that, you need a GPON, uh, you need an SFP to Ethernet converter. Uh, this one is cheap on uh, on Amazon, about 35 bucks Canadian, and it works just well. Up to uh, up to one gigabyte. If you want to go to 1.5, you need the the 10 uh, 10 gigabyte uh, version of it, and it's about like 150 bucks. But I won't go up to there, so I opted for the 35 dollar version of it. So. Uh, you have uh, that that's the that's the jeep on to sfp transducer you have that actually inside your bell modem if you didn't know it uh, if you open that flap door you have to unwind the white cable from around it uh, pull it gently don't bend it it's going to break the fiber uh, bring it down and pop the door up uh, by pushing on this uh, small latch and in there you're gonna be able to see the uh, the jeep on uh, to uh, sfp transducer and the cable hooked up to it so you 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 just uh, hold the cable uh, uh, by the square uh, green uh, thing here and uh, pull back that will release the the optics from the uh, transducer once that that is done you take that uh, little handle and you just uh, swing it down horizontally and pull back the SFP out of the bell modem. That handle also also serves as uh, as an unlocking me mechanism at the back. The the SFP is locked in place. So if you, even if you would try to pull it out of the of the slot while there's a cable in it, you you cannot. So you have to remove the cable first and then pull down the handle and take it out so you pop it in uh, the uh, SFP to Ethernet uh, converter 
And uh, when you power that up, uh, the middle light uh, that corresponds to the uh, data link on the SFP side will take about one to two minutes uh, to to uh, to go green solid. So once uh, that is done, your PFSense uh, should be able to PPPoE through the pipe in the pipe with the uh, with the VLAN we created and then assigned its uh, physical interface sub pipe VLAN 35 and then the PPPoE goes through all that. So uh, I hope. Uh, this uh, did clarify some things because I had to go all around and figure out all of that by myself. But now I'm proud to share it with you. So I hope you enjoyed your new uh, PFSense box right on the fiber. Have a good day. Bye-bye.